Uh, is Lawrence okay? <laughs> you you kind of left him there and with a hole in his chest. Going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Yeah, he was, seemed to have been sat day. there for a few days already. We'll be fine. <laughs> I don't think anybody's here. Hope so. We came all this way for nothing. All right, Lovely place to live. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. This doesn't sound good. I hear crying. Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? Oh, these are the uh, consequences <laughs> of uh, the decision at the beginning of the episode. Big B and Miss White. <laughs> Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss mm. White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Are you sure there wasn't from? anyone here? Uh, not that I saw. <laughs> and if there was, they didn't take nothing. So, you know, all's well that ends. Is your son in there? Oh, he's his fine, son. Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. And just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you alright? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. All right. Yeah, you you did bring up a point. This is the consequences of not going to Toad's house first. So let's do some investigating. Uh, what's going on with this busted latch? Your lock's busted. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Okay, smash lamp. And the lamp's broke, too. Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh huh. The lamp just fell off the table. You know, with this place, it's like living on a foundation of termites, it is. All so cheap, it's a wonder it stays standing as long as it does. Hmm. So this lamp has been smashed over here, right? But we've yeah. just seen that both of the light sockets are in use, so how did the lamp get over here? Because it wasn't there originally, because otherwise, like, there's only two light sockets, it would need a third to be plugged in. Let's see. Um, alright, a little bit of blood spatter. Bleeding? Why? You say it's blood. Still fresh. Oh, well, I'll cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a rap. 
Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. Okay it's awful, I know. Sounds painful. Oi, don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Sorry, what were you saying? Well, I suddenly got an urge to lick him. To lick him? Yeah. <laughs> it's always interesting to lick frogs and toads. Oh my god. Creepy. <laughs> thought I was the pervert um all right anyway this, something a little weird um I'm not sure what the deal with this is but there's two clickables up in that upper corner do you see them yeah I can't reach them yeah the mouse won't go that high for some reason and I, I I try to click them and try to get another angle to click them but I can't so I have no idea what those what that's about I went crazy trying to investigate that last time and just eventually gave up on it there's more blood over here. On um, the poker? Yeah. What happened? Oh, well, that's... That's how it happened, didn't it? I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. But like a shit ugly thing. If you're well, gonna you say something, out with it. I thought you cut your hand. Wade, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> a ruinous flip of events, really. It, is he a bullfrog? Because there's some bullshit here. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? This is pretty obvious I mean, you're lying. Things happen, you know. <laughs> this apartment's a goddamn mess, Toad. Looks like after a struggle or a fight, and I don't know why you cover for it, but I know you're lying about something. But I'm not. And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. You gotta watch this later, Fire, because this this frog has the most amazing, like, British accent I've ever heard in my life. Oh, I can hear it a little bit. Okay, that's good to know. Also, really quick, that random noise was apparently my phone. I'm going to quickly, yeah. quickly, quietly mute my phone because, um... Whoops. Yeah, I can hear the sound whatever bleeds through your headset, so... Alright, that's but good. Very quiet. That's good. Um, I think there's one last thing down here we can look at. That... more blood? No. Just a clean space in the dust. Did you move something? Uh, oh, the lamp. Maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? Yeah, because the lamp was always the over here, Toad. It was over here, now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you oh, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on. Get off with this. Okay. Um... Sorry. Sorry? There's some marks here. On the windowsill. But like I said, Junior leaves his toys around all the time. These don't look like they're from a toy. Oh. Well, just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright like dizzy, old. mate, as you would be. <laughs> and I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? <laughs> Uh, 
Um, you wouldn't need keys. Thought you wouldn't need keys, since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Uh, why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing you bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Bigby, come on, I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... They're sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called, really I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? No one fought anyone, Bigby. There wasn't any scrap. So when? When are you going to leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In me own bloody home. It's not seemly. Oh, <laughs> when you start telling me the truth, Toad. But I've told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Uh, you lied. A lot. Toad, these stories have made no sense. You didn't cut yourself on the poker. You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Mr. Toad, Ooh. you're bleeding. Take off the hat. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, dumb or dee. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he'd done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. Do I say mate a lot? didn't go any further. What was he looking for? I have no idea. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Is that the magic coat that can hide your beauty? Bum bum. Outside. Which Wait. means hiding beauty. There is a character called Beauty. It's an envelope. It's the docky skin uh, coat. Now, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Uh, it belongs to Lawrence. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'm starting to put things together. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? A theory, if you will. And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip trap. I think 
Beauty needs the coat to hide. I think Lawrence may have been having an affair with Beauty, hence why Beauty is having issues with. Does it always the beast. go that smoothly? Not often. So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully, the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. Which would be a motive. It's my best for... lead. Our only lead, really. Killing fate as well. That way. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty good theory, actually. All right, I'm gonna pause. Um, this has been a really long episode. I uh, we we went to Lawrence's and we went to uh, Toad's. I might split that up. I don't know, but I, I might just make it one long episode. Um, really quick. Um, after doing both of those places the uh the consequence um wh what do you think the consequence to going to lawrence's first was uh fire well it could be that you arrived and he just stays dead um and you may not see tweedledum and have that encounter because it'd be a different place in time uh, or he's already there um when you come in because uh, you've done that second yeah the trade-off is actually um what you lose by going to either place, uh, respectively, is either A, Prince Lawrence dies, or B, TJ gets beat up. So, I... by picking which one you go to first, you're getting the other one. So, in this case, we went to Prince Lawrence's first, so we were able to save Prince Lawrence. But, um, TJ got beat up at, um, at, for, at Toad's place. So, that was, that was the distinction we made, basically. By, by going there first, we uh, saved his life. So, yup. Um, uh, when I first played through, I went to Toad's first, as you said. And I felt like a shithead when uh, I uh, had that letter for Prince Lawrence that I could never give him get him because uh, I didn't go straight to his place and save his life. So, and you still feel like a shithead for letting his son get hurt. Uh, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, like like between some between someone getting beat up i know it's a kid and that sucks but between a kid getting beat up or someone dying uh i'd much rather not someone not die you know it's, it's, that kid is now scarred for life now he'll never forget that event oh he was you know, he, so impressionable as kids you know he, he's <laughs> he's already scarred for life he had to talk to snow white in a closed room about bugs for that entire time <laughs> Anyway, next time we'll be going to the trip trap and trying to hunt down the woodsman. See y'all. <laughs>